On? Okay, I just got to be a bit more into it. Hello. So we are Mujo Dream Flight. We are a three-person Tycho collective. Well, not three-person. We are the three co-founders of this collective. We've recently added some members. Um, we have Sasin currently at the Shime and Okedo. Sasin uses Sasin's name as a pronoun, so Sasin, Sasin, Sasins. We also have Iman Mui, and they also go by, or they most often go by Man Man, and they use they them pronouns. I am Mazayan Rose Leitner, and I use Fayfair pronouns, and I am class of 2015. So some of you might be wondering, why is a group of three people traveling from LA here in Northfield, Minnesota, opening for this concert? So in 2019, I came out as trans. Parents didn't take to that super well. Escalated, got disinvited from my younger brother's wedding, and I was venting in the car to Sasson saying, I wish we could just do a road trip out, see my house one last time, and get all of my stuff. And Sasson was like, we can do that. <laughs> so. Bunch of dreaming, conversations, a grant application later, um, thanks to very generous support from Tyco Community Alliance, um, we've been able to do a workshop and performance tour, starting in Los Angeles, going to Salt Lake City, Denver, Lincoln, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa, back to Omaha, and now finally here in the Twin Cities. Um, and in addition to it being a homecoming for me, we wanted to highlight you know, local connections and local senses of home. So really reaching out to Tyco communities that might not be what um, Sassen coined the term Tyco hubs. Um, and it's just been a really rewarding and empowering experience. And hopefully some of those feelings come through in our set tonight. We have pieces. OK, when we were, when we were setting up for this show, I was like, what pieces should we do? And Sassen's like, you're going to hate me. Sasson's like, we, are, we should only play pieces that you, Mazayan, have at least a strong co-creator credit on. So these two have decided to lay me bare for all of y'all, and I am so glad to be working with people who are willing to do that. So without further ado, here's our set, and thank you all for coming.
the president of St. Olaf Tycho. That's us. Um, we wanted to thank Mujo Dreamflight one more time for coming out and playing with us. It's such a huge honor to have them here. It's so meaningful for you and for us to have you here. Um, it was also especially rewarding to get to rehearse with you for a short while. We learned so much about the history of our own club and the context of Tycho in general. That was a very rewarding experience and we just feel very lucky to be able to perform with you. So thank you very much. Um, they have one more song they're gonna play for you tonight. It's called Concrete and take it away whenever you're ready.
Dream Flight, everyone. The show is not over yet. St. Olaf Teco is going to play a couple songs now, the first of which is Firebender. We're opening with this because it may be my favorite song that we play. I really like Firebender. And as we were arranging this concert between us and Mujo Dream Flight, it actually came to my attention that Mazine wrote Firebender. Um, so this is a really exciting opportunity for us to play it with them, not only with the group, but Mazine will actually be joining us for the song. Um, so get ready for that. We are ready to move our drums and play Firebender now. Thank you. <laughs> Is it good now? Yay. Yeah. What would a St. Olaf Teco concert be without some excessively long drum transitions? <laughs> All right, we're almost ready here. Thanks for being with us. Get ready to welcome Mazine back onto the stage for Firebender.
like the song I just played, I joined in the middle of my freshman year, so it was I decided to play the normal like go ahead song. So it feels very fitting to play it on my last concert as well. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's very flowy. Um, so I hope you all enjoy it.
Hello? Yay! Okay, cool. <laughs> um, this next song is the third one in our bending songs. Um, oh, I never introduced myself. My name is Alyssa. I'm the vice president of Tyco. Um, hi. <laughs> Our next song is called Earthbender. Um, so one fun thing about this song is me and Adam over there um, learned this song our freshman year during interim. Um, and we learned the whole thing. And then we never got to play it because of COVID. Um, and so this is the first time that me and Adam will have ever played Earthbender um, on the Chews. So this is, and this is when we learned it, um, this is how we learned it, um, and everyone else that learned it with us graduated, so <laughs> um, I'm really excited. Thank you. Let's go. You may have noticed all the last three songs we played all had Bender at the end of them. And there's a reason for that. These four songs were written in a suite. We call it the Bender Suite. Firebender, Waterbender, Earthbender, and finally... Yay! Yes. Airbender is another one of my very favorite songs that we play. And believe it or not, we found out Mazine also wrote this one. So we're going to welcome Mazine back to the stage one more time for a very special airbender.
when the drums are ready. While we have a moment, I just want to thank Mizine and Muyo Dreamflight one more time for coming all the way out here and playing with us. It really is an honor. I know it means a lot to us, and I know it means a lot to them, as well as the kind of homecoming idea. I'm really happy we get to play these songs with the person who composed them. With that being said, we are just about ready to go. Airbender, thank you.
I'm back. Give it up one more time. We are actually going to take a quick intermission here, kind of unprecedented Tycho moment, you might say. Um, but there's a, a reason for this intermission, which is that I feel very fortunate to have what we have on this campus as far as Tycho goes. It is not normal to be able to have Tycho that is accessible and that anyone can join. This was, like, I think the most important part of my college career here, personally. Um, we're also, it was a very difficult time in the last couple of years with COVID for the club, but we're on our way out of it, and we're looking to do more big events like this in the future. But in order to keep Tycho accessible and in order to keep having big names like this, we need your support. So during this intermission, stretch your legs, get some water, whatever. But Madeline is actually going to pass around a little bag that we keep our shime in. And if you have any cash on you, it would really mean the world to us if you can give anything at all to keep Tycho accessible and keep us bringing in big names. Thank you.
this next song is called Ryu, which means dragon. This is one of the, don't laugh. This is one of the uh, slower songs we have in our techno repertoire here. Um, it's a very kind of meditative, contemplative song. It tells the story of a dragon at attacking a village. Um, personally, it took me a while to appreciate this one, but now I really do. There's a lot of musical motifs that get passed around between the shime, the chus, and the os. It's a really uh, great song, and we will play it for you now. Thank you.
Hello? Epic. <laughs> Hi. Um, our next song is called Matsuri. Um, this is one of the uh, uh, most traditional taiko songs that we have in our repertoire. Um, it's played through like all groups across the whole world. Um, and it means festival. So it's a very common festival song and it kind of has that vibe of like good times and stuff. And this is actually the first song that I learned um, when I was like a toddler from my mom <laughs> um, who played in Kogan Taiko. Um, woo! Um, and they actually played a different version than what we learned. Um, but it's that's kind of the special part of it because it's uh, lots of different groups play it in different ways, and this is St. Olaf Tycho's version of Matsuri. Hello, everyone. Um, so this next song is one that for a long time we've called Oichi. Um, and kind of as a historian this year, I've been trying to dig into what some of our songs, like where they come from, what they mean, um, and found out that Oichi doesn't really mean anything. It's just kind of got crushed. So the song's actual name is Oi Uchi. Um, and there's a lot of interrelated songs with that that a lot of other groups play, like Nidan Uchi and Yoran Uchi. Um, 
So, I mean, for us, Tycho is kind of a long game of telephone where just things get passed down and down, but hopefully we can keep the actual name stuck. So here's Oichi or actually Oichi. Hello, again. Um, <laughs> our next song was written by a St. Olaf alum, um, a man of the name Stephen Braun. <laughs> uh, so the legend goes that Stephen wrote this song based on his favorite thing, biscuits, and his least favorite thing, danger. So our next song, Biscuits in Danger.
Hello. Our next song is called, uh, it's one of our most explosive songs in our repertoire. It's called uh, Baku Hatsu. Yeah, what's the big deal? Well, you've been saying it wrong for like four years now. I mean, for four years you've been calling it Bakuhatsu, which would mean idiot explosion. <laughs> but you, you, you did it. It's your senior concert. Wow. <laughs> Let's hope whoever intros this song next year gets the memo. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm Autumn. I am the drum master this year. Hi. <laughs> um, our next song is Joba. Um, it is a song that was almost lost due to COVID because the shoes are required to play super close together. Um, but luckily, you know, we pushed through, we got it, and it's now kind of a Tycho favorite. It's my personal favorite song. Um, I really, it's just. Great rhythms, great form stuff, and we hope you enjoy.
which means uh, the post office. So there's a story behind this song in that um, it's about someone who received a cake for their birthday. Um, but the thing is, it came on a Friday, and the post office clo used to close on the weekends completely. So they had to rush from Old Main all the way to the post office right before it closed. And so this song kind of captures that journey. Um, and also kind of the, there's a little interlude section where you're like waiting in line, and that's when the fue is playing. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's, it feels very San Alteco. So I hope you enjoy. song that my first year members learn, generally. Um, just a little fun fact for you. This also features a fue solo. Fue is a type of Japanese flute. It looks like that. Delaney has been learning the fue all year, and she's doing so great. And with no further ado, we will play Yubin Kyoku.
again. So before we play you our last song, I want to take a minute and thank a couple people. Um, I want to thank OSA, um, the music department, and Professor Ketchke for letting us be able to do this. Um, I want to thank POSTEC, especially those here tonight, for making this possible, um, and for um, the streaming, allowing people who can't make it to be able to still see what we do. Um, thank you guys for coming. <laughs> and our next song is called Omiyage. It was written as a gift to the, Saint Ol or to the Taiko community here at St. Olaf. We have a tradition of our seniors playing it as one last gift to St. Olaf Taiko. Um, so if I could have the seniors line up on stage and Madeline. <laughs> Grant and Maria, that includes you. Apparently, we're confused on who seniors are. <laughs> so <laughs> these are the people um, who have been just so awesome this year. Two of them we only gained this year. They're Kohai, but I'm really, really sad we only get them for one year because they're great people, great players. Um, Grant and Maria, thanks for joining, even though it was for such a short time. Um, Ayano, Alyssa, Adam, Blake. Yeah, um, you guys are literally so awesome. You've made my time here just the absolute best. Everything's, everybody's so welcoming and good players too, which is very helpful. Um, and I also wanna take this moment to thank Madeline, who is a pseudo senior. She's graduating early next year. So this is her last spring concert. So if we can all just give it up for these awesome people. <laughs> Now we present Omiyage. <laughs> <laughs> 